Hi, and welcome to another short and sweet lesson. So I imagine this one that you might do at the mid-morning if you've been working at your desk, maybe crafting, something that kind of heightens you up a little because it's really gonna warm up your back and shoulders, release any tension in your um, neck and upper body. So <clears throat> we've been started, you've been, I'm assuming you've been sitting all morning. So this is a practice kind of designed to Take you into a different position to start, so you're going to start on your back. And we're going to just do a little sequence with our arms, and it's really nice for opening up the chest a bit. So it's going to go like this. Your feet are, are firmly on the ground. Exhale to prepare, and then you'll inhale, the arms will point towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, you're just going to focus on that contact with the shoulders and just see if you can't let your arms be very heavy. Then you'll inhale out to what would be shoulder height. And again, you exhale and just feel the softening into the ground. Then you're going to inhale as you circle your arms up towards wherever they go um, without the elbows coming off the ground. So if you're really, really flexible, you may be even able to clasp your fingers. Anyway, wherever you get to is fine. And then exhale. Lower the arms down beside you. We'll always use your dry breath through the sequence. We'll always use the clear pauses and your counting. Okay? So exhale to prepare. Inhale, your arms are going to just sweep up till they're pointing straight up towards the ceiling. Stay as you exhale, and you can just try to see if you can feel your shoulders get heavier into the ground, feel the weight in the ground. Inhale, you open sideways, rest your arms on the ground, totally relax in that two second pause, and exhale, stay. Inhale, circling the arms up, sort of warming up that shoulder socket, finding out where you are. And then exhale, lower the arms. Clear pause. We'll do that three more times. Inhale, the arms move slowly up, to, pointing towards the ceiling. Pause. Exhale, feel the weight of those shoulders. The arms are straight now. Inhale, slowly opening the arms out to the sides. And then relaxing down from the pause. And then the exhale. Inhale, you're circling. The whole arm is resting on the ground. Slowly circling up. And then exhale, lower the arms to the count. You count and pause. Again, two more times. The inhale takes your arms just halfway up towards, pointing towards the ceiling. You stay for that exhale. You feel that upper body resting on the ground. Inhale, the arms open sideways, clear pause. And exhale, find all the ease you can, softening into the ground. Inhale, we circle the arms slowly up and hold. And then exhale, lowering the arms all the way down beside you. One more time. Inhale, the arms move slowly up to point towards the ceiling. And we stay for the exhale. Inhale slowly, open the arms out to the side. And really relax in that pause and then the exhale. Inhale, circling the arms up. And exhale, lower the arms. That's Good stuff. So just that moment in between poses. And we will do Chakra Vakasana now. So we're going to get up onto our hands and knees and as easy and efficiently as we can. And we're going to inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, shift the hips back and the forehead touches last. You know Chakra Vakasana. Really focus on it though. For some reason, it's just one of those moves that takes the, all that focus. So let's do that six times. Inhale, 
and exhale, shifting those hips back and letting the head come forward. And then inhale, come up. Sometimes, depending on your body, you might like to tuck the toes when you come up. So if you've been given this in your practice, then that's a good idea. It sometimes helps the feet from cramping. Do whatever you need to do to make Chakra Vipassana as enjoyable as possible, that it's a sense of just moving your back through that extension and that forward bend, that flexion. It takes a lot of tension out of the shoulders and lower back. I'd say it's primarily going to work the lower back, but also very gentle movement for the arms to release tension, very effortless movement. That's it. Good. Okay. So this Chakra Vakasana is like a transition into our seating, seated poses. We're going to do a nice flow. So you're going to sit um, with whatever you need for a forward bend. So if you need something under your sits bones, under your, under your bum, then put something underneath. We're going to take one knee up and bend it out to the sides. And I do this little thing with my bum. I don't know if it's a good habit or not, but it does help me feel like I can really contact the ground with my hips. So watch carefully. First, and I do bend this knee quite a lot because of um, some of the issues I have, and I kind of gradually straighten it out. But when I start out, I find I like, I like that, that uh, knee bends a little bit. So this is, again, personal. So you'll exhale to prepare. It'll be inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. So just hands to the leg. And then as you inhale, I want you to kind of straighten the spine up. And then open the arm sideways, watching the hand as you go, and you're in a nice open twist. And then we'll just go back again. Exhale, you're going to go back to your forward bend, nice and relaxed. And you're going to inhale, come up. And exhale, lower the arms. And we'll do that three times per side. So sitting nice and tall with one leg forward, the other leg you bend up, and then let go out. Oftentimes, a little support under that knee is actually going to be helpful. So if you feel that you know your knee is way up in the air, definitely give it some support. Okay. Exhale to prepare. Inhale, sweep the arms up to your position. And then exhale, hinge forwards over the leg and just letting yourself relax forward. Your both hands are equal on the leg. And then as you inhale, you Lift up into a straight back as you open that arm, following that hand into that open twist. And then you exhale and you follow that hand with your eyes back into that one-legged forward bend. And then inhale, come up. Clear pause and exhale, lower your arms. Pause. And then again, inhale, the arms go up. You want to have a nice open chest, so widen your arms what you need to to get that open chest. And then exhale forwards really nice and easily. Clear pause. Inhale, we're opening up sideways, watching that hand as we go, so the head is turning towards that lifting arm. And then exhaling back towards that one-legged forward bend. And just find that soft place in the whole in the whole. Inhale, come up with a straight back, and exhale. Good. One more time. You want to find that position with your arms so that you lift and open the chest. That's primary. Exhale forwards over your legs so that you can soften easily. The arms, the shoulders are relaxed. And then as you inhale, you're you're lifting your spine up, you're straightening your hand, maybe sliding up your legs so that you can straighten your spine. 
and then exhale all the way back. Let yourself relax into that forward bend. Pause and come up. And exhale, lower your arms. Good. So once again, we have a twist that is containing, and always, of course, sorry to interrupt myself, <laughs> put your legs out for a moment. Always find that moment where you can have evenness, um, symmetry, before you do the other side. But I think I was saying how much I like this flow. There's a sense of moving around the hip, you know, lubricating and moving around the hips. A very gentle way of moving into a twist. So with one leg forward, the other leg out to the side, you're using some support if you really need it on the knee. Exhale to prepare. Three times. Inhale, the arms go up. Exhale, just a nice, easy forward bend. Don't, don't reach, don't stretch. Just let your upper body relax. And then inhale. The spine is lengthening and straightening as you come up, so you might slide that head up the leg a bit, and then exhale back into the forward bend, relax, and then inhale, come up, lifting the chest, so the arms have to be comfortable, and then exhale, lower the arms, I will do that twice more, inhale, the arms go up, exhale, hinge forwards, you really want to try to find that hip movement and then relax forward just try to be as easy as possible inhale you're moving out into that stretch you really want to straight back you don't want to try to twist your spine from a forward bend and then exhale all the way back relaxing inhale come up and exhale lower the arms that's it good last time Nice and easy. More of a sort of a flow in meditation than something we're doing for effort. That hand is fall or the eyes are following that hand. We want a nice long spine once we're up and the shoulder relax too. Exhale forwards. And inhale, come up. Always looking for the easiest way to do things. Gently strengthening our body and stretching it. Easy as possible. Good. So now you've done both sides. Then you're just going to get back down on your back. And a little bit of Apanasana. Four to six breaths. It's, that pose did include the counter pose. But it's wise to end with a symmetrical pose for your back. So you may notice that in a lot of yoga classes, they're asking you to wiggle around, you know, roll your back and don't roll around in this way or that way. We like to come to a very symmetrical place so that when we've done the yoga, as far as possible, each side of our body is equal. So one side isn't more stretched out or stronger. They're both nice and equal. And so that's that practicing with that symmetry. You know, finishing with symmetry, doing both sides equally, that sort of thing. So take your time to stretch out for relaxation in the best position for you. If you need support, put them in place. And we'll just take a minute to scan. You're just going to notice the body. Just let everything unwind. Feel where your body touches the ground. See if you can sink a little deeper into that, way, into that support. See if you can get just a little heavier. And then taking the attention to the breath, noticing the breath in the body, whether it's the movement of the chest or it could be the sound of the breath. And it might be the feel of air moving in through the nose and throat.
have a few breaths. And then taking your time, we'll come to a seated position for pranayama. So I mentioned at the start of this class that there was uh, a little bit of a focus here on the upper body, on the uh, neck and shoulders. Of course, all of the yoga classes are going to, as far as possible, take us through all the movements of the spine, forward and back bend twist, and lateral stretch sort of happens in some of these poses. And uh, But this one had a little bit more emphasis, I feel. Um, on the hips. Oh no, back, neck, and shoulders. On the back, neck, and shoulders, right? <laughs> okay. So this had more of an emphasis on the back, neck, and shoulders. All right. So that said, um, I like to do this one in cold weather or you know rainy, damp weather. Uh, a little bit warming up for the body for you know getting ready for the rest of the day. So, um, as I suggested, this is a mid-morning practice that you might be getting up, getting back to work, or going for a walk, or getting lunch ready, these sorts of things. Give you a little bit more vigorous. But what we're going to do is, as we inhale, we're going to lift the chest and the chin a bit, and then exhale. Try to keep the spine really straight as the chin comes to the chest. Okay, so I'm just going to show that sideways. So I want you to notice that it's not just the chin stretching up, it's the chest. As we breathe in, that starts the lift. And then when we exhale, we draw the chin into that notch. So we're really avoiding hunching over. It's the neck moving, not the sh shoulders or chest. So let's do that four times. Then we're going to do four times turning the head. So in, you'll come Come to center and then you'll exhale turn inhale center exhale turn inhale center and then one more time each way and then the last four breaths you'll just stay count your breaths smooth or dry again finishing with something symmetrical and centered all right <clears throat> exhale to prepare inhale the chest lifts and the shin and face fall pause Exhale, the chin comes in towards that notch with no other curving of the spine as possible. Inhale again, lift the chest, lift the chin and face a bit, and exhale, chin to chest. It's not a super stretch. It's really more of an opening of the chest and just a bit of a lifting of the face, and exhale down. One more time after this. And on the exhale, you come chin in, and then on the inhale, come to center. Exhale, turn your head to one side. Clear pause. Inhale forwards, that's it. Exhale in the other direction. And inhale, come forwards. Clear pause. Exhale to the other side. One. Inhale forwards and exhale the last time to the other side and inhale forwards. Good. And now four smooth breaths of Ujjayi just to finish the 12. Take your time to finish that last breath, and when you've done it, turn your hands, palms down. That's it, and we'll stay for one minute, letting go of any control, just letting your breath breathe you. Okay. 
And just set, sending your awareness down into the heart center. You might be noticing the sound of your breath and a cool feeling of air in your nose and throat as you breathe in. And just keep bringing your mind back to the movement of your chest, to the breath in the body. Another few breaths. It. Okay, open your eyes. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank yourself too because you do so much good for yourself when you do this yoga. So, bye for now. See you in the next lesson.